Right, gonna make a plane. Um, and I am going to. Shall I might uh, unhook that. Oh, no. There we go. So uh, let's get rid of this. I'm just gonna make it one by one. And then I'm gonna go J, gonna rotate it. And then I'm gonna animate it. So I'm just gonna animate it along. Uh, let's do Saki, Saki there. Let's go to frame 100. And I want to rotate it that way. So, okay, frame 100. I'm gonna do 3,000. 600. So we will get that. Let's just do that and move it along. I do that and then I might actually do that. So got a plane moving along, spinning quite a lot, maybe a bit too quickly, but we'll just leave that anyway. Um, stop that, make that 100 frames. <clears throat> okay, so create new graph, little mouse drag the plane in. So we want to just make trails on from the vertices of this plane. So that would be these corners here. Um, so we just got to feed these in as point positions. So get point position like that. Uh, like so and then we can do um, construct points like that. And then now that we've made points, I mean if I plug those in you won't really be able to see them actually probably if I hide the plane. There they are there. <coughs> What's good about this is it's all scrubbable as well because it's not simulating anything, it's just literally data coming in and out from uh, <coughs> excuse me from a Maya. So now we can just do a trails, plug those in because particles are fundamentally points. Plug those in, so it's 100 frames. And get rid of you. Do that. Rewind, hit play, and we get that. So maybe it was a bit quick. Um, you can do a, I think, let me try that. They're quite jaggy. Uh, obviously, we could do, um, let's just do that setup now. We can do. Uh, set strand shape I want them to be tubes and then we can do uh, Arnold set shape is that right? I don't know, something come up Arnold, let's do Arnold Arnold strand settings, that's what it is bring that in there plug that in Turn that to Cat Clark, and then the trails are sort of based on a frame thing, so you have to do play it through. Um, let me just do a sign material. Let's go to the hypershade. Where's my hypershade? And Arnold shader. Let's do a standard surface. Drag that in. Into surface material. Just so I don't need a light, I'll do an emission again. Emission. 
Take a while. Oh, uh, Maya crashed when I closed down the last scene, so I might have to reload all the plugins again, which takes about four minutes. So I might pause. Right, so that's rendered, but obviously it's a bit chunky. Uh, so we can probably do go into the set strand shape and put that down to 0.25. Ah, um, because it's based on when you change the graph because it's sort of simulated it just clears it all out so you have to rewind and play again you can see it's oops, can't see that's off screen you can see it's rendering that now so it's running pretty quick there and so if I change my Arnold strand settings actually this will make it clean out again I could just cache this, uh, but we'll just keep, rather than caching it, I'll just keep rewinding it. Okay. Um, so Arnold Strand Shape, let's have a look at you. Let's move this over a bit, like that, that's better, isn't it? Uh, so we've got Cat Cark, let's rewind. So if I put this to linear, You can see it just keeps it's almost exactly what's going on in the viewport just very jaggy and then you can do B spline which is another way of doing smooths and you can see we get smooths so what's good about this say if you were doing trails in mash um, mash is obviously it generates a mesh um, and gets pretty slow pretty quickly um, if I unhide my plane Go to my attributes editor. No, I've got that open anymore. Let's go to the plane and let's just crank this up to 10 by 10 so we get 100 strands. And there you go. So it's a lot quicker than. Uh, um, mash for doing strands you can see look it's getting super quick um let me just get rid of let me just do that at half that let's even make it less this is to 360. there we go So you can see that really quick. I mean, 100 strands, super quick. Um, render that. Very quickly renders. Um, let's just see how slow we can make it. Let's do 100 by 100. So what is 100 times 100? 10,000. This might be a bit slow. Not too bad though, look. Look at that. So 10,000 strands. Um, probably not real time. So, it's pretty dense, isn't it? Let's just see what happens when you... Oh, that's, that was actually rendering live as well. Let's turn that off. Let's just see how quick that will be. Let's make this 20 by 20. Right. So that's rendering faster than, computing it faster than, gets a bit slower towards the end. There we go, so let's uh, give that a render. It's just gonna be solid, isn't it? Um, we go here. Shape settings, let's make these even smaller, 10 times smaller, and rewind. And then I'll finish. Just 
still solid. Let's just one last time. Let's make them no, zero five. There we go. Real time rendering. Well, sort of. Millions and millions, well, 10,000 of them. So there we go. Um, obviously, I would have to crank up the settings on that a bit. Let's put that to six and see how quickly it does it. That's not too bad. That was what? 12 seconds. Let's put that to 8. Now, um, I am going to stop, I promise. Uh, let's just make this 20 by 20. And then, uh, move that out of the way. Go rewind. There we go, that's sort of rendered in that was three seconds. Still a bit noisy. It's probably because it's emitting it's a yeah, noisy light aspect of it. Um, right, so there we go. Um, super quick when you're uh, just submitting off points. So quite good for doing trails of objects and things.